So in this set of videos, we're going to be talking about consolidation. Now, consolidation happens when we subject a soil to a change in stress. Now, we know that the solid phase within a soil is relatively incompressible, or we assume that it's incompressible. So any change in shape um, or volume of the soil happens because of changes within the void space. Now, water as a material is also relatively incompressible. So um, if the voids are going to change shape and they're fully saturated, what, we, what needs to happen is that that water needs to move out of the soil or part of that water needs to move out of the soil. And that's what consolidation is. It's the movement of water out of the void space. So we move from a situation here to one over here where the, the amount of water in the soil has decreased. Um, and what we're measuring is the settlement, so delta rate. So what does uh, settlement depend on? What does delta rate depend on? Well, as we've already said, it depends on a, a change in stress uh, within the soil. Well, it depends on how um, susceptible the material is to um, settlements. In some ways, how squishy the material is. So a more squishy material uh, will have a greater settlement. So um, we give that a, a, a parameter called the coefficient of volume compressibility, or MV. And it also depends on the total initial thickness of the material. So you take a one meter um, soil and you subject it to a change in stress and it has a certain susceptibility to compressibility. That will have a smaller total settlement than if you did the same uh, for three meters of soil. So this settlement is a proportional to the thickness of the, uh, the, the, the material. So that's H0, so the initial thickness of the material. So here we have a, a quite a simple um, equation for, for settlement, where the, your total settlement depends on the change in stress, your coefficient of volume compressibility, or how squishy the, the material is, and your initial um, thickness of the material. A useful thing to, to point out now is, or a question to answer now is, what units does this um, MV value it? have the coefficient of volume compressibility. Well, your delta H um, uh, has units of length. Or, so let's just write that in terms of meters for now. So you have a meter, uh, a length unit here. You have a change in stress, which has stress units. So let's say kilonewtons per meter squared. You have an unknown here, your MV value. And then you're multiplying it by a, uh, another unit of length, meter. Now we can see we've got a one meter up here. Um, and we've got two meters down here. So this meter cancels with one of these. And if we, um, if we then uh, take this unit of stress, or what was a unit of stress, to the other side of the equation. If we multiply both sides by meters and divide both sides by kilonewtons, what we're left with is meters squared over kilonewtons, which equals mv. So the units of mv are really just the inverse of stress units, meters squared per kilonewton. Um, and often, those are written for convenience as meters squared per meganeton. OK, so let's run through a, um, an example um, or a typical example of uh, calculating total settlement within a, a soil.